All right, let's get right into it. And the first thing you can do is block ads and trackers on your smartphone without downloading any app. Go into your settings and search for private DNS. And then just type in dns.adguard.com. That's it. Your ads will now not load or at least the annoying ad images won't show up. Next, if you're using Chrome, you can actually preview links without actually opening them in a new tab. So let's say I'm on these Google search results and I wanna go through these results. I don't have to click through. I can just long press and then click on preview, which opens up the page as a pop-up. I can go through it and then tap on cross button right here and go back to my search results. By the way, if you have like a ton of tabs open in Chrome, you could just swipe on the address bar and shuffle through your open tabs just like that. Okay, this one is really cool. You can play YouTube videos in the background or in a pop-up without actually having YouTube premium subscription. All you need to do is install VLC player from the Play Store and that's it. After that, let's say you wanna watch this video, just tap on share, then play with VLC and then select the option to play in a pop-up from within VLC. You can then resize it and you can place it anywhere you like on your phone and even have it overlaid on top of other apps. Now, hopefully you're not stepping out too much, but if you are, and if you're using Google Maps to navigate, try this. Enter your destination and then tap on these layers to activate Street View. Then tap on these colored lines and you can now navigate with an actual real view of the streets, just making it a lot easier to make sense of where you need to take your next step or your next turn. And as you turn around in the streets, the pointer also points in the right direction and that is so critical to knowing which direction you need to head in. And guys, if you're finding all of this useful, support the channel. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon, and just mark all. Also, if you happen to know friends that you think can benefit from this video, send it to them. Okay, next time you're out and you wanna know which song is playing around you, you don't need Shazam anymore to do that. Just say, okay Google, and then which song is playing? Or if it's too loud, tap on the mic here and then you'll see search a song and just tap that. It will hear the music and tell you exactly which one it is. Here's a good one. Let's say you don't want to receive messages on WhatsApp just for a while. So the best thing you can do right now is turn off internet access to your entire phone. But that pretty much makes your phone useless for other apps. So you can temporarily shut off internet access to WhatsApp. Now to do this, go into settings or battery settings and look for background processes or you could just search for it in your settings with background usage and try to shut off background usage for WhatsApp or you can add it to deep sleeping apps like in a Samsung phone if you really wanna just cut off background usage. And with that, WhatsApp would stop looking for any incoming messages until and unless you open WhatsApp and that way, temporarily, you shut off internet access to WhatsApp brilliant stuff. Now, if you have Google Lens installed on your phone, you could fire it up and point it at text written in any language and translate that real time into a language that you understand right there. Here's some text written in a language that I don't understand. All I have to do is point Google Lens at it, select translate, and yeah, it just real time converts that text right here on the camera like AR so I can just read it from here. Lastly, you can just switch back to your previously used app by just double tapping the recent apps button. So let's say you're on Instagram scrolling and you can just double tap right here to go back to your work conversations on Slack and then double hit again to get back to Instagram and waste time. So yeah, that's a pretty quick way of switching back and forth between two apps that you use pretty frequently. All right, that pretty much wraps up this video. Now I've done two more videos that I think you could really benefit from if you've got an Android phone. So make sure you check those out. And otherwise, make sure you hit that subscribe button and support the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon and mark all. That's the only way you'll get to know when I upload a video. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.